Today, we had the episode 72 part 1 update in Toilet Tower Defense, so this was a pretty big update as we have added a few things that a lot of people have wanted for a while. So to get straight into it, well actually, like and subscribe first. Because if you don't, then the camera spider's jetpack is gonna stop working and he'll fall down. I don't think that he'd like that, so like and subscribe. But anyways, okay, number one thing, we have added the upgraded camera spider. So you can see he has a lot of things that he does. He has splash damage, he's movable, he is a pretty cool guy and this is because in episode 72 part 1 there is the new camera spider and bro just look at how good the camera spider looks and look at the render like this is a huge upgrade not only in damage and stuff but compared to how the normal camera spider looks like look at this guy look at this guy editor add like some weird sound effect because he's bad and then look at this guy like he is so much better and then there is also the new mythic which is right here upgraded mech cameraman if you look at the mechs than their normal mech and then this guy bro he is so much better he has like two lasers the blades on his arms that sickle thing and i mean this guy has a taser so he can slow things down this guy cannot and of course there's the mech bunny which is pretty good and speaking of the mech bunny the easter event is gonna be in the game for 13 days longer so it's gonna last for pretty much the next two weeks because i mean easter is literally tomorrow so like i don't know why the hunt ended so early. It ended the day before Easter. I guess Roblox is trying not to associate with Easter or any like religious holidays so that it's not banned in the countries that don't like those. But anyways, that means you guys have two more weeks for the Easter event pass and it means two more weeks of the bunny crate. So yeah, that's gonna be good if you didn't finish that yet. And wait, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I thought it like ran away or something. I forgot I did that in the intro. Okay, well, he's he's been good. He's been standing there. I, I'll put him that. There he goes. And then the camera spider's jetpack is gonna stop working and he'll fall down. So the next really big thing, well, if you look at the maps, you can see we added, like, a, a new board above it. This board doesn't really block any of it at all, which is nice. It's just, like, clearer to see the picture in the name of the map, but the next big thing is here. So now, we have a mythic crate. Look right here. Basic crate, mythic crate, and for some reason, boosted chances only appear inside the summon. Evan needs to fix that. Boost and stuff still do work and if you have the luck game pass it all shows inside this menu but it just doesn't show inside that one anyways basic crate and mythic crate basic crate is still the same but now there's a mythic crate for 12 times the price but mythics and godlies are 15 times more common in the mythic crate so it's worth it for those legendaries are five times more common and epics and rares are the lowest ones pretty much the same chance to get so most likely you're gonna get one of those a bit higher chance for legendary if you're trying to get that, but this crate is basically the most efficient for mythics and godlies. It still has 10% off if you summon. I also added the 10% off text because we already had that before where summoning 1 was 100, summoning 10 was 900, but I, I just never added that 10% off text. We also added the selling the auto sell for mythics on the side. I know most people don't want to sell mythics because they're rare, but I have had quite a bit of people ask me for that, so I added it. There's no longer the text on the bottom of the screen that says as well, you're auto selling, but uh, I mean, you can see it on this side, so it's gonna be even better soon, though, because if you look at these crate icons, we're actually gonna add even better crate icons. I hired someone else to make some more new crates, and yeah, this is a really good addition, though, because this will allow us to add more crates in the future. I also remade the buy coins menu a little bit, though, so the summon has been changed a bit. The mythic crate has a different rotation, so like, if you're trying to get a specific specific unit. You can summon on the different ones. Like, for example, right now, Titan Cinema Man is on the basic one, but Glitch Cameraman's on the mythic one. Let me know in the comments if you want a crate in between. Like, we could add a rare crate for maybe, I don't know, 400 coins. Because 1,000 versus 1,200 is kind of like a big jump. And another big thing we have that a lot of people have been asking for is this teleport menu. So, on the top left, you can actually teleport to different areas now. So, we've got the update area, post office, trading plaza, summon, endless, AFK, area and that's all of them so that is a lot more convenient for traveling around the map a lot because the map is getting a little big so when we add even more things in the future we can add more to that teleport list we've also fixed some issues on endless mode so if you guys remember i've been talking about the glitches on endless mode for a while well they're not exactly glitches but they're just abusable things like the first one well i already explained this before so i'm gonna be very brief on it but basically rejoining after toilet spawn like leaving and rejoining when the 
toilets spawned so that they spawned with less health because toilets adjusted to how many players were in the server. And also people would place units, leave, someone else places the unit in the same area so they can like stack them together so they can place less booster units and there, there were just a few things like that on endless mode that people were abusing to get on high up on the leaderboard but now that is fixed. So now there are like no bugs or at least the major bugs are fixed that people were abusing to get really far in endless mode. So as you can see the highest people are getting now is like 108. A lot of people are getting to 106 though but some people have gotten past it. And the next thing we're planning on adding is endless ranks which is going to be like a level system so that you can get boosts and stuff in endless mode. Like, like not really boosts like you use a boost and it lasts for 30 minutes. I mean like permanent things. So like for example sometimes when you rank up you'll get like plus one placement unit slot and then boom you can play 16 units instead of 15. And then there are also like new abilities and we're even gonna make it where at some ranks like when you rank up you're able to speed up the game so you can play it at two times speed if you want. Now help on endless mode a lot because right now it can be like really really time consuming. So I've got some really big plans for endless mode you guys will see very soon but that's gonna take a lot of scripting and I still gotta make the UIs for it and stuff so that would take at least another couple of weeks. Anyways let me show you guys the new units and the new toilets. So the first new unit like I said upgraded camera spider. He shoots blue things at the toilets and he can actually fly with his jetpack. In the beginning he's not super fast but when we upgrade him he'll be a little faster. He also jumps a bit for some reason. I don't know he's a little silly but he is pretty good so like I just won't really question it. And when we upgrade him a lot then he has like all four lasers and that middle laser that is, does splash damage so that's really good. His walk range is supposed to be 60 though. I, I thought I buffed him but I guess not. I'm gonna do that again. But I'd say overall this is a pretty nice unit. Then there is also the upgraded mech cameraman which let me spawn some toilets real quick to show you guys how good he is. I'm gonna spawn a level 50 boss toilet. Alright there he is. So look the, the jetpack guy is going crazy. Wait why are there so many of those particles? Like what is that? <laughs> I don't know why the spider camera is being weird like that but the upgraded mech cameraman is pretty good especially when you max him out. Look at his lasers. They have so much range and he has that sickle which is pretty good. He's also like dancing right now or something so I don't know. I'm gonna let him cook though. He's about to get that wave 100 boss toilet and wave 100 on endless mode is pretty strong. So that camera spider also has quite a bit of a range too. His walk range is pretty much the same range as his other attacks right now. And Evan made his circles blue. I don't know like why but um, I'm gonna change that back when Evan does not look sussy baka. Anyways, okay, so now for the new toilet. So the first one is the police mutant toilet. I'm gonna spawn it at wave 10, but here he is. Look at him. He has the police shield. He has the sickle. Well, I don't know why he just stood still like that, but um, why, why does he just walk straight with his police shield? Wait, I'm gonna spawn him at more health and see if he does what he's supposed to do, because he's supposed to block everything sometimes, and I don't know why he just like stands weird for a second every now and then. I I don't think he's cooking. Yeah, I, I do not know what the police mutant toilet is doing. He's being weird right now. I'll definitely get that fixed soon. But let's hope the beret rocket launcher toilet isn't weird. All right, there's the beret rocket launcher toilet. You can see he has a lot of health and he has five rockets. There he goes shooting some other rockets and he's pretty slow. I'm gonna put more upgraded camera spiders because I think they're better. Yeah, they, they only do 1k less DPS, but they have some pretty good a range and can walk around so I think they're worth it. I'm gonna put a lot of spiders around. They're gonna be like the, the map is infested with spiders. Let me sell the mech cameraman because he is not cooking right now. Another good thing about these guys is that they can't be stunned. So yeah we're about to get that police mutant toilet. There we go. Now <laughs> look at all the spiders. Look at them go. I'm still not at the unit limit. I can put a bit more spiders. All right I've got all 15 upgraded camera spiders maxed out. So the next order of business is to spawn toilet, please mutant toilet. I'm gonna spawn 50 of them, or no, I'm gonna spawn 50 and then 10 and then one second between. And then I'm gonna write true for boss and like, we'll see what happens. All right, there are a lot of police mutant toilets. Let's see what they're gonna do against all these camera spiders. So the camera spiders blast radius is enough to hit four of them at once. 
Let's see if they can win. There are still like five that have not targeted the police mutant toilets yet. I think the camera spiders are winning, which is why I'm gonna spawn the beret rocket launcher toilet again, but I'm gonna spawn 10 of them. And I made all of them bosses. So like when one dies, the next health bar just pops up. Why'd I do that? But um, they're not doing too great right now. I mean, they, they are getting stopped for a few seconds, but these are some pretty good units aside from a few bugs. Well, there, there aren't really that many bugs, just the police mutant toilet being a little weird and the jetpacks always being on for the camera spiders for some reason. But we're gonna get those fixed and then we're gonna start working on the endless rank system. So that is pretty much it for the video. As always, like, subscribe, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all. Oh wait, before before I say that, um, one more thing. Yeah, we're definitely beating those police mutant toilets, but okay, what I was gonna say is we also have new maps for Palm Paradise, Toilet City, and Toilet Lab. But yeah, now that is everything for the video. So like and the trading plaza, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video